Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Okay, welcome. Brand new kit, brand new molded for 2017. I've had this on back order, well not back order, but pre-ordered uh, for quite a few weeks now. And it turned up this morning. So I'm going to do a unboxing of it. And it is, I'm going to pronounce this right, Skamel Pioneer SV2S Heavy Breakdown Tractor. It's manufactured by IBG Models. It's in 135th scale. The kit number is 35029. And this box art, I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. It is really nice. I do like this box art. Right, I'm going to change my glasses uh, because there is a little bit of writing on the side. Like I say, I've not done, not opened it. I've not been into it yet. So you'll see it the first time as I am. Right, uh, it's a quick rundown just telling you that it's a 6x6 tractor used in the Second World War uh, as a recovery vehicle. Uh, a artillery tractor and also a tank transporter so she must have a bit of beef to her uh, also it's got a 102 horsepower six cylinder diesel engine uh, uh, there were two versions there was another version the R100 and it's just telling you that one of them was slightly longer uh, for the accommodation of the tank crew the cab was slightly bigger Blah de blah de blah. Total of these were made for 1,975. Quite a few of them were left in France when the British retreated Dunkirk. Uh, most of them were destroyed, but quite a few were captured by the Germans. So there's a little window there that you could actually do a captured vehicle and do it with the German insignia on. Right, I'm going to open this box and we'll see what we've got right we've got plenty of sprues in here we've got four in that one four in that one that one's got the wheels and uh, then we've got two in that one and another two in that one which we're going to have a look at in a minute we have two in that one and another two in that one so quite a few sprues. Wheels are different this time as well. Normally they're two part wheels in half, which are very good, but uh, these ones look, look like they push over the rims, which will be nice to paint in. We have some clear parts, uh, which are clear. We also have some decals, decals, transfers or stickers, and we actually have German crosses on there as well, and Russian and we actually got the Africa core on there as well so that will be interesting to see what's else we've got PE this side as well uh, sheet PE quite a big piece actually uh, normally it's only a small bit just normally the engine fan and some bits and pieces but there's quite a lot of PE in this one we have a little bit of twine and also that's nice I like that they actually have done a printout of the uh, box art, which is absolutely beautiful. I think I shall have that framed up, I think, and go on the wall. Oh, I'll put that up there nice and safe. And also, we have the workshop manual. Right, I shall just put you on pause for a second, get myself sorted out, and we'll have a look at the workshop. Right, the workshop manual, pamphlet form normal for IBG. I have had a quick look through this. There is 40 steps. There's quite a lot going on in this little kit. Uh, start off with, we've got a colour call out. We've got Vallejo Air. Uh, is that mm, Hacker? Tata? I've never heard of them. Uh, Mr. Hobby and Life Colour. They're the colour call outs. We've also got uh, the uh, PE and the decal sheet 
decals, transfers or stickers, whichever you'd like to call them. The first two pages are taken up with the sprue uh, map because there's quite a few sprues but they're quite small sprues which I, I do like to be quite honest. The uh, third page has got the last of the sprues and the wheels. Now we go straight in on the first page. We start with the wheels, fuel tank, uh, the side carrying basket that goes underneath the, I think it's either dry, uh, passenger side, I think, of the lorry. Then we've got the build of this straight six diesel engine, which looks a bit of a beast. And then we start getting into a, a lot of bits and pieces. Uh, we've got the engine, radiator assembly. We have the rear axle, uh, twin axle. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, that will come apparent, I suppose. Uh, by the look of it, probably the front steering probably is. Uh, then we've got the chassis going together, radiator going on. Uh, then we've got the leaf springs. Uh, part of the winch. I think one of these was a power winch actually, uh, but I could be corrected on that. Uh, then we've got gearbox and transmission, and then the engine, everything going into the chassis. Uh, the rear axle, and then it's just generally bits and pieces. We've got the, one of the winches here, that's a manual winch by the look of it with a handle. Uh, like I say, quite a lot of steps, 40 altogether. Uh, we've got the rear uh, support arm, well, braking, breaker's arm, should we call it, or what, what do they actually call them? Uh, recovery arm, that's what we'll call it, a recovery arm. We know what it is, it's got a hook on the end of it. So, then we've got the uh, back bed the recovery arm going on to it, uh, all the side bits and pieces, like I say, there's loads going on. It's nice that they're just giving you a few bits, they're actually giving you the bits that go on and what it should look like. I like that as well, showing you the bits and showing you what it should look like when you've got all the bits on, which is nice. Uh, the cab, the cab going on to the chassis, and I hope that these cabs are a bit easier than the Bedford because the Bedford ones they can be a bit of a pain in the neck to do and I've done quite a few of them now uh, final steps it's just generally the glass going in the back bed going on uh, it, if I look a bit might have the option of uh, leaving the covers off for the engine that would be pretty cool and final bits and pieces, wheels and everything to finish it off and this is what you should have and it looks pretty good uh, front left view, right rear view and that's where the little basket is that looks a nice kit, it really does right then we go into the uh, paint guide Well, painting guide, start off we got uh, we, I won't run through all of them uh, North Africa, this is in German North Africa 1942 we have unknown units uh, Russia uh, 1943 we've also got, well, there's quite a lot of them uh, Normandy 1944, it's, that's the 7th Armoured Division uh, France, Normandy we also have another one here, this is South African Armoured Division, Egypt, 1944. That would probably be one for Joe, he's building most of Egypt in a diorama at the moment. Uh, on to the last one, and we have got uh, the 1st Polish Armoured Division, England, Autumn, 1943. So you've got quite a few choices there of uh, colour colour schemes so that's the workshop manual I'm sorry I skipped through that pretty quick but there is a lot in there and we can make this uh, box review uh, hours long so what I'm going to do now I'm going to bring the camera down and we'll have a look at these parts okay parts lots to get through 
I've been having a quick look they all look nice and clean well, they should be because it's a brand new mould because I'm quite familiar with the IBG stuff and I know for a fact they haven't got none of this type of stuff this particular model in any of their other kits so this is all new moulding uh, the wheels they're the inserts and then the other parts go on top they're all nice and clean uh, nice little sprue gates now these ones that I'm showing you are doubled Put my hand out the light there <coughs> excuse me uh, little handles and that never have no problem getting these off they always come off nice and you can always clean them up nice as well uh, I've done quite a few IBG kits and never had no problem with their plastic uh, what these bits are, I couldn't tell you at the moment, but uh, we'll go through them. Uh, yeah, I know what that is, that's the engine block. There's just a lot of little bits in this. And this, I don't know if this is going to be like the uh, Beaufort gun that I did. Loads and loads of little bits. Takes forever. But all the parts are nice and clean nice and crisp as they should be for a brand new moulding right. uh, we've got the leaf springs there uh, more little leaf springs there what all the bits are I couldn't tell you, not on hand on to the back Release springs. Like I say, there's lots and lots of little bits in this kit. Uh, I don't know if I'm looking forward to it or not now. Uh, quite excited about getting it, but when you start seeing all these little bits, it starts putting you off. Uh, that's the very large rear axle drive. Uh, as I say, there's loads and loads of little bits. But everything looks nice and clean, there's no flash. And that's the main thing. Uh, we've got the part of the chassis there. Like I say, there's not a lot I sh to shout about, just lots of little bits. All nice and clean, that's all I can say. Right down to the little hook. I like the way they've just got one attachment point to that hook. Nicely done. Yeah. Uh, look at the front mud guards. All nicely, nicely done. Part of the winch there. I think that's the. Uh, Part of the front radiator won't swell on that, but like I say, there's plenty of little parts. This is going to be a fiddly little build. But the detail is pretty good on what large parts are. Is it? it just seems to be all small parts. Well, we've actually got some largest parts. Uh, the sides to the doors. Uh, I'll screw there. Well, what detail is there is nice. Not a great detail. Uh, it's got quite a lot of it. It's got all the rivets in that one. Yeah. A tiny little kit. Okay, we've got some slightly larger parts here. This is all the uh, back deck uh, side. I call them sideboards, but well, but probably they're called sideboards. Uh, detailing's nice. 
but there's not much sort of grain in there. But we have to do something about that. But all the parts nice and clean, nice and crisp. So no complaints. Uh, it's like I said, this is very much like a, a mini art kit. Layers and layers of very small bits to actually give you the depth of detail. Uh, this is the final sprue. This is the back deck and cab. And still more loads and loads of little tiny bits. That looks like the uh, winch coil. Turn it over. So, it's all nicely detailed, but there's not much, there's no wood texturing on there. But there you go, we can't have everything. One day we might find the actual perfect kit. Uh, but all in all, really nice. I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, moving on, I don't think we'll be able to see that, but that is some uh, twine for the winch. Then we've got the clear parts. Uh, I find their clear parts just a little bit too thick. Uh, especially if you need to cut any of this down, it's a little bit thick to try and chop through. But all in all, they're not too bad. Then we move on to the wheels. I'll get some out of, get them out of the bag. I should have done this before. But just like it one goes. And a little look. Nice tread pattern on it. And they're going to be nice and big and junky. Which I think is going to look nice. Uh, how these work out, I don't know because I've not done this type before. So we'll see. So that's the wheels. And back in the bag. Uh, the PE sheet. There's quite a lot of PE on this. Uh, by the look of it, there's PE for the side basket underneath the passenger seat. Uh, I've got that around the right way. Uh, there's all the numbers, look. And what are the other bits for? Probably the winching eye at the top of the uh, arm. And all the other bits? I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Uh, fairly thick but I think it feels thicker because it's got a plastic film on both sides which I do like the plastic film on both sides because it's easier to get them cut out so they don't ping all over the place so that's the uh, PE and we finally go on to the decals, decals, transfers or stickers there's not much film around them which is good. Uh, I've never had no problems with their decals. Uh, my good friend Bees Beasley, he did the otter and he mashed a few up, but they were very tiny. So, but I'm building the otter now. So, uh, for uh, my good friend John Moore uh, group build, so we'll find out if it is that particular one but as you can see there's not much film around the outside of them uh, they are a little bit shiny but there you go you can't have everything so that is it that is everything in the kit except this really nice picture which I'm let me just bring the camera back out a little bit Uh, that is a lovely picture. I'm going to have that framed and put up on my wall. So I'd like to thank you very much for joining me and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.